Hi guys, so this is me looking all scruffy. But anyways, I'm going to be doing a video, recording a video with neon looks. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, I'm going to so oh, 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 I'm reaching my, my robe. Anyway, anyways, I'm not seeing that. So let me get into this video. Anyways, guys. <laughs> Okay, now let's get into this voiceover. Um, so you guys can see my brows were not in good condition, so we're going to sculpt them to the gods so that they look good in pictures, you know? Um, so I'm just filling them in with the Milani brow, retractable brow pencil, and now I'm going to take the Creepy Concealer by NARS um, with my concealer brush just to sculpt them out and cover those stubborn ears that we didn't take out. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm I'm concealing my brows. I'm using this as primer. It's actually a Derma Blend foundation. Um, I don't remember the name of the foundation, but it's very light as you can see. Um, and I love using this as it gives me pigments. As, as you guys heard, I'm using neon pigments and with pigments and any eyeshadow come out of fact, you need something for them to stick to. So I'm first applying this neon green in the in the crease and then I'm going to apply which is kind of a mistake I should have put the orange first the neon orange first and then blend out with the neon green but I'll, I'm learning how to work with these and every time I'm on camera it is like doesn't go well but yes I'm just blending these and applying them I pat first and then I try to blend but I recommend you guys tip to just pat no blending blending is not necessary with pigments it just blends it away and here you can see a little bit of the frustration on my face oh my gosh I was having a time So I'm going back with my flat concealer brush and the same foundation to cut the crease so the powders to come and the shadows to come will have something to adhere to. It's not a game, it's a So I'm doing more of a blown out half cut crease so I'm going to apply the orange to that section and mind you guys you have to reapply or add some primer sometimes to get this as pigmented as you need. You don't see this in this short video but you have to clean up and work with what you need to do. Um, so here I'm applying a eggshell pinky nude to the inner portion of the eyes and blending it in with the orange and that will be our main lid color. So guys at this point I was wondering if the look was going to come together so I just decided to do the graphic liner here to see what it was going to look so I'm using the Milani cat eyes blue liner and I love these liners um, they're very pigmented and easy to use. Alright, 
right so here i'm using the lancome like liquid liner and this is more of a felt tip liner and i'm just using this because i like using this before i use my liquid um liner to get rid of some of the powder so that the other liner can be more pigmented and the other liner which you'll see me using in a second is also a cat liner cat eye liner from milani and it's and this one is in black i love this liner it's very pigmented so i really didn't have to do that extra step but i like to to get the real stark black liner Now I'm priming my face and here I'm using the Becca Primer uh, Mattifying Primer and just rubbing that into the skin. And I like doing this step right here to have a little bit more oil control and I'm just applying a loose trans translucent powder all over the face. So you guys just saw that I cleaned up my brows before I apply my foundation just to make it a little bit easier and now I'm applying the black opal stick foundation all over my skin and then I'm going to blend it out. This is in shade opal which is like a reddy tone. It's um, my rightful shade is actually um, beautiful bronze but I like using this especially when I don't want to use a extra light concealer and my concealer today is the Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder concealer and I didn't want such a bright concealer today so that's why I'm using this one okay so I like to double bake or put on a lot of chances of powder to keep this face looking flawless so I apply the translucent powder under my eyes that one's by Mel Melani in banana and now I'm using Melani um, earth glow to contour my face and now I'm using the translucent powder such as translucent powder and translucent all over my face and then after that you'll see me applying my foundation powder which is also by Melani in number 10 and this is the matte um, powder now I'm applying um, a coral blush I don't remember which blush is it on my cheeks and after that I'm applying my Marco Co my Marc Jacobs um, lip gloss and my Milani um, liquid lipstick um, I think this one is in covert or loved one of them um, so yeah I'm going to go now guys but you're going to see me um, apply concealer and the pigment and some mascara and yeah enjoy the rest of the video. I have not tell, told you in this video, remember to go like, comment and subscribe them what your favorite part of this video is and tell me something that you want to see from me, whether it be a challenge, whether it be a vlog, but whether it be a makeup look, like a combo you can have somewhere, well you should be going in. When you have your birthday coming up and you want to do a look for a shoot, let me know. Tell me if you're not close by to come and book me. So you guys should be booking me. If you're not close enough, tell me the kind of look that you want me to be it. You want to be it and I'll be give you step by step how to do it. But I anyway. It's not a game, it's a red thing. this video even though it was hella difficult like I'm practicing working on with pigment neon pigments to be exact on my eye it's hard working with neon pigments sometimes um, they can get frustrating um, but yeah 
I do like this look I'm feeling myself so um, this is the look it's a neutral it's not neutral it's a neutral color on the main part of the lid with the neons in the crease and a little bit of blue to accent with the green on the eyes oh I added lashes you guys didn't see that part and I had add three individuals on the bottom to give the eyes a little bit of I think that's what like making me feel this even more like it's new to me well not new to me but I haven't done it in a while so you know when you do something a little spicy yes yeah, so I'm really liking this look a little bit of color in my life but boy man I'm gonna wear so this just gonna go down the drain but anyways I'm gonna take some pictures and I hope you guys are following me on Instagram follow me on my makeup page and on my mommy page you can find me more lovely to see my work makeup looks and to see more of DJ and myself you can find me Moya D DJ's mom Moya dot DJ's mom but you you see it in the intro so just go ahead and follow me and yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video I don't know what more to say um, but yeah this look is a banging and I'm feeling myself like can you tell <laughs> and my earrings check out custom you dot Yes. yes guys remember as i said to wear the best you for the world to see moya lovely and i'm signing out come here bubble too much like i don't know what's it i just love this look <laughs> can you guys tell like <sighs> bye dolls <laughs>